Emily Danien and Rimgaudis Danis were a Lithuanian couple who resided in Astoria, Queens, New York. The couple shared an eight-year-old son by the name of Lucas. The couple cared for their son very much and did everything they could to raise him as a happy child. Emily, also known by her birth name, Urate, was a psychologist in her native country, Lithuania. But when she came to the States, she spent time working at Three Guys Restaurant, an Upper East Side establishment. While at the restaurant, Emily would work the cash register where she met Abel Rosas, a man who resided in the Long Island City section of Queens. He was a cook's assistant at the restaurant. The two began to spend time together and ended up engaging in a love affair. Rosas was married with two children when he abandoned them to move in with Emily and her son Lucas. At this point, Emily and her husband had been separated due to their marital problems. Emily and Rosas continued the relationship for weeks, but things began to go bad, often resulting in loud arguments and sometimes physical confrontations. Neighbors would witness this often. Emily had had enough and told Rosas to pack his bags and leave her home. Once Rosas was gone, she decided she wanted to reconcile with her husband and make things work. But of course, this would prove to be much more complicated than expected. In the early morning hours of Easter in 1997, Rosas had been out with friends getting drunk while watching a boxing match. Rosas had recently learned that Emily planned on moving to Boston, where her husband worked as an auto mechanic during their separation. The tension in their marriage had reached a level they weren't okay with, and the couple decided they wanted to start a new life out there and maybe even have another child, according to the owner of Three Guys Restaurant, Gita Saitkin. Enraged at the thought of Emily moving on and leaving him behind, Rosas asked that his friends drop him off at Emily's apartment at 3217 38th Street. Once at the location, Rosas was armed with a metal crowbar. He used the crowbar to force Emily's door open and he entered the home. He made his way through the home and walked through her hallways approaching her bedroom. As he approached Emily's bed, he could see Emily's blonde hair coming from under the sheets as she slept, unaware that her jilted lover was standing just feet away. He looked a little closer and noticed she wasn't alone. Her husband was sleeping right beside her, while their son slept in his bedroom just a few feet away. Rosas took a 38 caliber pistol from his waistband, a gun that he had armed himself with earlier, and he pointed it at the sleeping couple, firing three or four times, striking them both in the head and chest. The shots rang loudly throughout the home, waking Lucas up. When he rushed to the sounds of the shots, he would find his parents lying in pools of their own blood, barely alive. He ran to the neighbors for help and authorities were called. The couple was rushed to East Elmhurst Hospital where they were put on life support and everything was done to try to save them. Their injuries were just too severe. They were disconnected from their life support machines and pronounced dead Monday evening. Rosas walked into the 114th precinct and turned himself in. He said, I heard you guys were looking for me, and proceeded to confess to the crime in detail. Lucas, their son, was sent back to Lithuania to live with his grandparents after the tragic events involving his parents. Lucas, understandably distraught and angry at what occurred, would tell prosecutors, when he gets the electric chair, I want to press the button to kill him. Abel Rosas was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. On August 28th of 2021, Rosas died while serving his life sentence at Green Haven Correctional Facility. Rest in peace to Emily Danien and Rimgaudas Danis, and my sincerest condolences to Lucas and the rest of his family.